Clint Barton is the real character name of what Marvel superhero? Pass. Who wrote The Old Man in the Sea? Pass. Which war began with the death of Archduke Franz Ferdinand? 1812. How many stripes are in the Adidas logo? Four. What is the capital of Poland? Warsaw. Clint Barton is the real character name of what Marvel superhero? The Flash. Who wrote The Old Man and the Sea? Uh, Mark Twain. Time. How do you think you did there, Bart? Uh, pretty poor on the first two. Uh, Should have got a couple ones after. Well, we will find out after Maitland does hers, and then we come back, so we will put Bart on hold. And I will wave Maitland back up the hallway here from under the air conditioner. Here comes the bull in her horns. Hey, Maitland. Welcome back. Glad to have you in the room. Hello, Mainland. Got to put that mic on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I asked like nine questions. <laughs> like, when will I hear? I don't know. You kept looking at it, too. Looking at it, looking at it. Looking Not at me. It. Didn't look at it once. <laughs> <laughs> She's so quiet. I'll turn it on when she has something important to say. <laughs> Hello, Maitland. We're damn well good and ready. <laughs> or I'll put it on when I remember that's my job. That's the real truth. Nothing but the truth. All right, Maitland. Bart has gone. I asked him questions. He gave answers, and now he's on hold. Okay. And now it is your turn, and we will begin in three, two, one. Clint Barton is the real character name of what Marvel superhero? Pass. Who wrote The Old Man and the Sea? <laughs> Pass. Which war began with the death of Archduke Franz Ferdinand? World War One. Nope. How many stripes are in the Adidas logo? Four. What is the capital of Poland? Pass. Clint Barton is the real character name of what Marvel superhero? Hawkeye. Who wrote The Old Man in the Sea? Ulysses S. Grant. What is the capital of Poland? time. How do you think you did, Maitland? He's not good. I know Ulysses is not. A lot of Civil War <laughs> generals and former presidents wrote classic works. I'm sure some did. I'm sure some did. I don't, you know, we'll find out. Yeah. Wait to find out when we... Sc- My, okay, there we go. Sorry. All right, is Bart back on with us? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bart is back on with us. All right. Yep. We will score this game, maybe. Clint <laughs> Barton is the real character name of what Marvel superhero? Bart passed and then said, The Flash. Maitland also passed, but then said, Hawkeye. The answer is Hawkeye. Ooh. Maitland leads one to nothing. The Flash is Bart Clinton. Yes, uh, yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Question number two. Who wrote The Old Man and the Sea? Bart was a pass and then said Mark Twain. Maitland was a pass and then said Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> I don't know why that was the only name that came into my head. Ulysses S. Grant, not known for writing many uh, historical water-based novels. <laughs> Mark Twain was... But it wasn't Mark Twain either. It was Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> you guys have Maitland re- still leads one to nothing. You ever read Dog Man by Andrew Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Captain Underpants by Ron Reagan. <laughs> yeah. All I know are kids' that's, books. <laughs> that's George W. Bush. <laughs> All right, question number three. Bill Clinton wrote the Bible. Oh, my <laughs> God. Well, not really. Really? The Bible according to lovemaking. (laughs) Question number three. Which war began with the death of Archduke Franz Ferdinand? 
Bart said, 1812. Maitland said, World War I. No! <laughs> but it was too late. I had already recorded it. And that's a good thing, because it was World War I. Hey! <laughs> Maitland leads two to nothing. How many stripes are on the Adidas logo? Or Adidas? Bart said four. Maitland said four. The confidence that you've seen that logo one billion times and could each get it wrong the same way. It's three. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. I had no idea. <laughs> My first thought was, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. My first thought when you asked that, because I always play along, was definitely not three. <laughs> it's more than three. I was, I mean, that confidence, so sure. Four was uh, the uh, the stripe pattern on tracks shoes that my mom would get me from Kmart when that's, I was a kid. That's that why were I supposed thought to four. look vaguely like Adidas. That's also what I was thinking. Of. <laughs> Didn't fool any of my classmates. <laughs> nope. They still saw that as a good reason to good reason to punch me. Maitland leads two to nothing. Now, if this last question were worth three, it might, might make a difference, but we'll see what the answer is anyway. What is the capital of Poland? Maitland was a double pass. Bart said Warsaw. It is Warsaw, Poland, but Maitland wins two to one. Let the Nickelback ring on high. Maitland rides oh, yeah. the victory train again. If this had gone to time, this is the closest one, I believe, ever. Bart did it in 43.85 seconds. Maitland did it in 43.79 seconds. Oh, dang. Just 0. .06 seconds faster. Wow. Yeah, because we had one last <laughs> week that was outrageously yeah. close. Uh, Bart, you don't wow. win $100, but you do get a nice parting gift, a signed copy of Abraham Lincoln's The Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bart. Right, thank yeah, you, guys. Appreciate it. Right, thanks, man. <laughs>